Hello children, Saira. So let's continue chapter number 12 that is basic geometry. Today we will see part 4 where we will continue exercise which is based on basic geometry. So let's see question number 5. So children question number 5 is draw the following figures using a ruler. So question number A is ray TR. Here we have to draw ray TR. So first, first what we are going to do. First we will draw two points. And like this we will draw two points. And we will give it the name point T and point R. Okay because we have to draw ray TR. So we are going to first draw two points. That is point T and point R. Okay. And then with the help of ruler, you will be having your ruler with you. So with the help of your ruler, you will align these points where exactly they should meet each other. And now we will place, you can see both the po points are aligned, isn't it? Now with the help of your pencil, you will join these points. Okay. And you can see here and we will extend it a little further. Because this is a ray. Okay. So now because this is a ray. So we are going to put an arrow here. Okay. T is the end point here. And because this is a ray. So we will extend it a little further. And we will just draw an arrow, arrow at the other side. Okay. So in this way you will be drawing this in your notebook as well. Okay. Now. Question number B where we have to draw a line segment. So again first we will because this is a line segment A, C. So first we will draw two points and give it the name A, point A and this is point C. Okay and now because this is a line segment. So if you remember what is a line segment. So line segment has a fixed length and it cannot be extended from any side. So sim simply here we will join these two points to make the line segment AC. Okay. We will align our ruler very carefully. Okay. So that both the points should be aligned in one plane only. Okay. And now with the help of ruler and uh, pencil we will join them. Okay. So, in this way, you will draw line segment AC. Okay. So, this is question number 5. Now, let's move to question number 6. So, this is the answer for question number 5th, where we have to draw ray TR and line segment AC. Okay. Now, question number 5 is, question number 6 is, Draw an angle and name its arms and vertex. Also write what type of an angle it is. So children, here you have to draw any angle. Because it is not mentioned what type of angle you have to draw. Any angle. Four types of angles are there. So you can draw. Uh, either you can draw a right angle. You can also draw a, an acute angle or an obtuse angle or a straight angle. It is up to you. So you can draw any angle of your choice. And then you have to name its vertex. In the question you can see name its arms and vertex. And then you have to also mention about the type of angle. What type of angle you have made. Okay. So based on that let's draw the angle. You can draw any angle of your choice. So let's draw the angle. So, any type of angle you can draw here. Okay. Four types of angles are there. So, we can draw any angle. You can draw any angle of your choice. So, here I am going to draw an angle, an uh, acute angle. So, for that, first I have to draw two rays which should meet at an, at a common end point. So, first I am going to draw a ray A, B. Let's give it a name. As point A and point B 
and then I will just point my ruler where they should these two points should meet okay and now I am going to draw a ray A B similarly now I will draw a ray A C because this is an angle so both the rays should have a common end point so here you can see this is point C and this is also a ray so here you can see ray a b and ray a c they are meeting at a common end point that is point a here okay so this is an acute angle okay now because in the question it has been asked to name the name its arms and vertex so i will write the arms here so what are the arms here arms are ray a b ray a b and ray a c okay these are the arms of this angle okay and what is the vertex here can you tell me what will be the vertex where these two rays are meeting at a common end point that is the vertex of the angle so vertex is a here and now you have to write what type of angle it is so first let's name this angle so what will be the name of this angle it can be written as angle b a c or it can be also named as angle C A B. So we will write here. So angle B A C or angle C A B is an acute angle. Okay. So here children I have drawn acute angle but you can draw any angle of your choice. You can draw a right angle, you can draw a straight angle or an obtuse angle. It is only your choice but you have to mention its arms, vertex and also you have to uh, write what type of angle you have drawn. Got it children? So question number 7 is name the angles shown in the following figure. Classify them as acute, obtuse, straight or right angle. So number A, first we will name this angle. We have to name these angles and then we have to classify them what type of angle they are. Whether they are acute, obtuse, straight or right angle. So look at number A. This angle will be named as angle POQ. Or this can be also named as angle QOP. You can see the vertex is in the middle. Now can you tell me children which type of angle it is? Whether it is acute, obtuse, straight or right angle. So just see children this angle is less than a right angle. This is less than a right angle. So which type of angle it would be? Yes it would be a it would be an acute angle. So we will write it as we will write here acute angle. Acute angle. Okay. Now look at number B. So can you tell me children which type of angle it is? It is a right angle because this angle is made up of a horizontal line here and a vertical line. So this angle is a right angle. Now first let's name this angle. So what will be the name of this angle? How will name this angle? We will write here angle AED or it can be also named as angle D E A. Okay. Now this is a right angle. So we will write there right angle. Now look at number C. Children, which type of angle it is? Yes. Just see this is more than right angle. Isn't it? So if our angle is more than 
greater than a right angle then what type of angle it is it is an obtuse angle so first let's name this angle so we will name it as angle sot or it can be also named as angle tos okay and this is an obtuse angle okay so children the first one is an acute angle the second one is a right angle and the third one is a c1 is a is an obtuse angle now let's see the next question now angle number d you can see this is angle klm first let's name this angle as angle klm or this can be also written as angle mlk okay children can you tell me which type of angle it is yes it is a right angle only it is inverted okay otherwise it is also made up of a horizontal and a vertical line or we may say rays okay then only we have got here the angle klm or angle mlk again you can see the vertex is in the middle so we will write the name as right angle now number e can you name it yes we will name it as angle xyz or angle it can be also written as angle z y x and this is less than right angle so it is an acute angle okay now number f this is very easy how we will name this angle we will name it as angle p q r or we can also name it as angle r q p okay and this is a straight angle because this is made up of two adjoining right angles okay so this is a straight angle so we will name it as angle straight sorry it is a straight angle okay so children in this way we have finished exercise that is that was based on a uh, basic geometry so rest children rest we will discuss uh, with this this chapter has been finished basic geometry next class we will move to a next chapter till then thank you